What's up, YouTube? This is Two Raw Four TV. So, Al Sharpton, old Reverend Al, came out recently, capping for none other than Stacey Abrams, who is the Democratic gubernatorial candidate for well, the state of Georgia, as she was four years ago. And against the same opponent last time, uh, Brian Kemp was the, I think, Secretary of Treasury. Now, of course, he's the governor. Well, he came out and said that any black man who doesn't support or vote for Stacey Abrams is an insecure man. Now, first of all, I want to say this. <clears throat> Are you saying that we're supposed to just vote for Stacey Abrams because she's a woman? Is, is that what you're saying? And also, Reverend Al, are you saying that we're just supposed to bl vote blindly Democratic? Because I'm trying to figure out what, what he's saying here. Aren't we supposed to vote for the candidate that best suits our interests, the candidate that we think is the best suited for to do the job? And if we feel like maybe both candidates are not qualified, or at the very least, both candidates don't have our best interests at heart, maybe we shouldn't vote. Just because a Democrat field a candidate don't mean I gotta fucking go out there and vote every damn time. You know? That's not how it works. So, this is the thing that kills me, man. They talk about how black men are not coming out and vote. Right now, look. In 2018, when Stacey Abrams narrowly lost to Brian Kemp for governor, 97 percent of Black women voted for Stacey Abrams, registered voters. 88 percent of Black men voted for Stacey Abrams, which is a pretty healthy percentage, but for some reason, they blamed it on us, saying we didn't come out and vote in the same percentage. Now, in the polls, right now, Stacey Abrams has 90% of support for, for black females, 80% of support for black males. And they're saying, well, where is the support? Why are black men abandoning the Democratic Party? Why aren't we voting for Stacey Abrams? It's because she's a woman. In reality, throughout all fucking elections, you've been seeing this downward trend where we're not voting for Democrats. But I want to put out a, 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 a better point here. Why aren't they saying anything about the fact that support from black women has dropped from 97 to 90%? Isn't that a drop? Four years ago, only 3% of black women didn't vote for Stacey Abrams. Now it's at 10%. But why aren't you saying anything about that? Because it's just designed for them to shit on us. Black men, we are the bane of of, of society's, you know, society. We're, we're the bane of everyone's existence. We, we're, you know, we we can't be relied upon to do shit. You know, we're lazy. We, you know, don't fucking uh, adhere to our duties. We're always late. And we can't be dependent upon it. So it's always our fucking fault. Fuck you from the tip. No, from the base of my fucking cock. Okay? Fuck you, Democrats. Alright? We don't have to fucking vote for you all. We don't. Maybe a better question would be, why is it that the Democrats are losing support in the black community? Maybe that's a question that they need to ask themselves instead of trying to play this racial, excuse me, this, this gender divide within the black community. Instead of trying to play this gender divide within the black community, maybe you need to ask yourself, why aren't we coming out there and voting? But I also have a more important question to ask all of you before I end this video. Why aren't they talking about the fact that 75% of whites don't vote or will not vote for Stacey Abrams? Now, Georgia is a very Democratic, uh, Republican state, excuse me. Georgia is a very Republican state, historically. And white people are generally very Republican. 
but 75%. So this is indicating to me that there are some white Democrats who aren't supporting Stacey Abrams. So why aren't they talking about this? Why aren't they talking about the fact that the Democratic Party has been hemorrhaging white voters for decades? Decades. Decades. Jimmy Carter. Matter of fact, fuck Jimmy Carter. Lyndon Johnson, when he ran for president in 1964, got 59% of the white vote nationally. Jimmy Carter, who was able to win a majority of the popular vote, even though a bare majority in 1976, narrowly lost the white vote to Gerald Ford, 50 to 48%. Even Walter Mondale, who lost a 49 state landslide to Ronald Reagan in 1984. Even Walter Mondale got 34% of the white vote, which is pretty pathetic, right? Stacey Abrams is only getting 25% of the white vote. So a better question would be, what do you guys need to do to do better with the majority uh, race in this country? Instead of trying to squeeze every fucking ounce of votes out of us and blame everything on us, maybe we need to see what you're doing wrong with other groups. Why aren't you talking about the fact that Democrats are hemorrhaging Latino voters? Hmm? Even Asian voters. Instead of trying to use us as the Russell Westbrook of the Democratic Party. <laughs>